Hello and good morning everybody. Getting ready to pour a 40 by 30 three bay garage. Got three inches pitch from back to front. We got 17 yards here, 3,500 pound mix. We got fiber mesh for reinforcement. Water reducer, our normal water reducer for slump control. Another beautiful day. Darren's up there mixing up the truck. Just getting ready to go at seven in the morning. We're gonna get this thing poured. This shouldn't take us very long at all. As long as we don't have to wait for that second truck. Each truck should have about eight and a half yards on. We're gonna get going. Yeah, let's be in the 60s. That's it, that's what it said. Supposed to cloud in a little bit later. Hi. I'll let you know. Thank you for putting me on camera. You're camera. Matt, the famous concrete driver. <laughs> you are. We're gonna make you Hollywood Matt. Yes, sir. Hollywood Matt. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've learned everything I know from Brian Smith. <laughs> Not even a comparison. No. What's this one? 3,500? 3,500, just fiber with air. That's what I noticed. Not even a comparison. So the reason my concrete looks wet or really loose is because we use a high range water reducer or a super plasticizer in a lot of our pores, like this one here today. Um, and you can get these from a company like Fritz Pack right here. They sell these online and you just add them to the concrete truck. Now a lot of concrete companies that you buy from will already have them at the batch plant. And uh, super plasticizers are used to increase the slump and the flowability of the concrete without hurting the strength. They actually increase strength and improve the quality of the concrete. So, I mean, a lot of you guys that don't know about that look like we're just pouring really wet concrete. It's going to be really weak. It's actually just the opposite. Our concrete is probably better than the average concrete being poured out there because we're using these super plasticizers. And you can see how, how nice it flows for us and it holds together. It doesn't separate. So that's the reason we pour with super plasticizers or high range water reducers. It just makes our everyday pours easier. Now, when I order concrete every morning, you know, our concrete automatically comes with a mid range water reducer in it. So we can pour a five or a six slump, you know, with a low water cement ratio. You want to keep your water cement ratios low if you want strong concrete. So we get that every single day, no matter what. And then if we want to bump up the slump a little bit, like on a day like today, I'll just ask him to increase the, the water reducer a little bit. And that's actually called a super plasticizer or a high range water reducer. And then we can, we can bump up the slump a little bit more to like a seven or an eight without, without hurting the strength at all. So it actually reduces the bleed water on the surface of the concrete after we get done pouring. And it doesn't really delay the set at all. It still sets just like normal concrete would, but it also increases the finishability, so it makes it a little easier to finish too. Yeah, he sounded it when he was back and didn't sound too dry. No, he's, he was 
I mean, we wound it up, uh, some of the dry stuff came to the front. Yeah. We're pretty close. Yeah. It almost looks like it's a different color. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That's more gray. Now this concrete floor has a slope from three inches from the back towards the front. And if you remember, I told you in the beginning of the video, even pouring high slump concrete like this, the, the concrete won't sag. It's not loose enough to sag, so it still holds its slope really well. We're probably good if you want to take off. I think so, yeah. Okay. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Don't touch nothing. Right behind you, Tia. Turn it. We want to break. A tiny bit in there, we'll scrape it down. Good. You unlock it. Unlock it. Try that, I think. Yeah. Okay, hold on just a minute. Yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Luke, just pull him ahead a little bit, have him wash right here. Yeah, well, I'll pull him ahead. Come on, mag it and strike it. that does it for that starting to cloud in i think it's going to be mostly cloudy today so probably not going to cure up too too fast for them but should dry all right see what time it is got it going late truck showed up late 8 30 started about 7 30 so 40 by 30 got it to put it in in an hour 17 yards you know it's that's pretty typical for us we did have to wait in between trucks for a little bit so overall went pretty good well again thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one